Hello from COP28 here in Dubai. I'm joined by Vice President of the European Investment Bank, Gelsomina Vigliotti, who is in charge of what the EIB does in the Middle East. Gelsomina, is it your impression that here in COP the understanding has grown that water needs to be at the centre of any serious attempt to tackle the effects of climate change? Yes, I believe that now there is uh, an increasing awareness about uh, the nexus between uh, climate change and water. You know, rising uh, temperature, extreme weather uh, events, uh, they are putting much more pressure on the availability of uh, accessible water for, for everyone. And this is a problem not only the south of the world. This is becoming an issue also in, uh, in the north part of the world, where actually it's, uh, the industry use, uh, the agriculture use, uh, is an increasing population also in Europe. It's a putting pressure on water, and we have to invest in uh, in solution which can improve the efficient use of water, and uh, to to start thinking to a circular uh, uh, method of using these scarce resources. Yeah, a smarter way as well of doing things. So, what is the EIB doing in this sector, particularly in this wider region of the Middle East? Globally, uh, the EIB is uh, the largest uh, financier of water project worldwide. Since our, the start of our activities, uh, we have invested more than 80 billion euros uh, in a project uh, related to water for more than uh, 1,600 projects. So we have uh, is a great expertise. And uh, here in the region, actually a region where the scarcity of water is particularly uh, important and critical for population, uh, we have invested a lot in many areas. We have invested a lot in desalination, we have invested a lot in, uh, in wastewater management, because I said before, you know, it's an efficient use of water, it's important. We have uh, worked on uh, uh, efficient system for irrigation in agriculture. And I'm particularly proud about the financing of uh, it's a great project in Jordan. We signed uh, an additional uh, uh, an additional tranche of financing for the Akaba Amman desalination and conveyor project, which is a huge project. We will desalinate water in uh, in the south of the countries, and then we will transport the water to the to Amman, where actually the scarcity of, of water is uh, heavily is heavily felt. And this is an important project since uh, it's a way to show in which the finance and the technology can provide a solution to such dramatic uh, you know, events. And uh, we do it without put additional carbon footprint on the environment. So we are particular, I'm particularly proud of him to follow this project and uh, you know, and more has to come because, I mean, we are very much committed to the region. It's powered by renewables, which is really interesting. Thank you so much, Vice President. That's all from us for the moment. See you soon.